hello and welcome uh, in the last video we discussed about classical evolutionism uh, and after that we talked about the very important uh, aspect which is new evolutionism in that we discussed about what is the basic difference between classical evolutionism and new evolutionism like the three that is multilinear evolution uh, evolutionism universal evolutionism and neo darwinism now uh, similarly the way classical evolutionist had some of the scholars neo evolutionist do have does have some of the scholars so we will start with uh, gordon child okay okay so for the gordon child he studied at uk and started teaching at university of edinburgh and while he was in the university of edinburgh he developed the idea of universal evolutionism okay so first thing first universal evolutionism was brainchild of gordon child now according to him universal evolutionism is a natural theory it is a natural theory in archaeology archaeology because prehistoric evidences are obtained on the larger canvas at time and space because prehistoric evidences pre evidences are obtained on a larger canvas of time and space it is so natural in archaeology we study about model on the contrary of social anthropology the ethnographic evidences are limited however gordon child believed his theory can also explain the cultural data and uh, it is relevant to both archaeology and social anthropology so it's relevant to both archaeology and social anthropology he identified five stages of cultural evolution five stages of cultural evolution see direct question will uh, make come on uh, garden child and will write everything but this thing can also come that the various stages of cultural evolutionism and hence it is important to recall them even uh, you have to recall that this culture five stages of cultural revolution was given by gordon child so society it started from hunting and gathering it moved to agri culture then it moved to the formation of state it after that it went to urban urban revolution and revolution of ideas revolution of ideas according to uh, gordon child this scheme reflect the broad outline of cultural evolution which he brought out in the book man makes himself he wrote a book in 1936 man makes himself so in this book man makes uh, makes himself he brought out the five stages of cultural evolution after nearly two decade in the year 1955 he brought out his ideas in another book called as social evolution it contained a new scheme that he argued that evolution passes through three important phases the first is invention 
which leads to urbanization which leads to industrialization and intensification along with urbanization the expansion will also start now he is connected to the archaeological data uh, with the data of cultural anthropology now he connected archaeological data with cultural data and he concluded that Gordon Child took into account the different stages of archaeology, connecting it with appropriate cultural trait. Okay, so what he did, he basically took the different stages of archaeology and then he connected it with appropriate cultural traits. But at the same time, he faced some criticism so the critics are of the opinion that he did not consider the role of irrigation in Mesopotamia and Europe not considered role of irrigation in In Mesopotamia and Europe. In this part, people have developed a well-developed hydraulic system, and uh, these hydraulic system have further uh, strengthened the civilization because here this uh, population have developed hydraulic system, which have helped to strengthen the basics of the civilization the next is civilization outside middle east and europe were not found in this scheme or basically theory so civilization which were outside middle east and europe were not found for example uh, if you start with peri do you remember Perry and Smith? So they basically roam extensively. They covered uh, North America, uh, Indonesia, Australia and various other uh, places. Right. So this is the end for the Gordon Child. Uh, in the next video, we will do Julian or Julian Stewart. Basically, it's Julian, I think. So we'll do this. See you.